Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the installation. And I am inside the LiveWire documentation website. I choose installation section. And here we see a uh, LiveWire is a Laravel package. So you will need to have a Laravel application up and running before you can install and use LiveWire. Okay, but as I told you in the previous video, when you create a Laravel project and you want to have authentication system so we had chose to have uh, either breeze package or jetstream package both of them coming with a live wire stack so when you choose breeze for example you can choose live wire stack and when you choose uh, jetstream you can choose live wire stack and then you have automatically the live wire in your project now i have created two projects one with uh, breeze with blade stack and one with a live wire stack so and i have named a breeze blade and breeze live wire and i have to i have choose here to have a breeze starter kit because i want to test the live wire and i want to have some links here okay now the breeze blade i have opened with the vs code and here is the breeze blade and if i go now in the composer json file we can see here in the require we don't have the live wire but if i open the php storm when i have the breeze live wire and open the composer json we can see we have here in the require we have the live wire version 3 we have also the live wire vault which is a live wire package and with the live wire vault is created the authentication system okay now let's go and install the LiveWire in the Blade version. So I'm going to copy this command. So to install LiveWire, open your terminal and navigate to your Laravel application directory, and then run the following command. Okay, so let's copy this. And that's it, really. So we just need to run this command and we are ready to go. So let's open the VS Code here in the Breeze Blade. Open the terminal and I'm going to paste that command. Hit Enter let's close now and let's open the composer json again and we can see we have a live wire version 3 here good let's close and now what i want to do is let's open the php storm and here i'm going to open the resources views welcome blade and here we have this if the route has login is going to add the live wire welcome navigation it's going to add this component and if i open the live wire we have welcome directory here and we have the navigation blade so if i click here we have the links so anchor tag with the shref with some classes but what i want to show you if i go at the end we have also this wire colon navigate attribute in all the links here what this does so if i open now the projects both of them breeze blade test and if i click the login as you can see we have this reloading because this is a blade stack but if i choose in the breeze live wire to go to login as we can see is immediately navigate so it's kind of a single page application and this wire navigate doing that but if i copy this wire navigate and paste in our uh, breeze blade what you think is going to happen so let's see let's open the vs code and here inside the resources views i'm going to open the welcome and here we see if the route has login and here we use the out so if the user is authenticated it's going to show just the dashboard link otherwise the login and register but in here we don't have that uh, wire navigate so let's add in here the wire navigate and also i'm going to add in the register link okay so now we added the wire navigate in the login and register save that and now if i come here and refresh let's say login but again we have uh, also a register we have a reloading so it's not working and that's it because if I go now to live wire and let's scroll down, 
when we see uh, manually including LiveWire's front-end assets. By default, LiveWire injects the JavaScript and CSS assets it needs into each page that includes LiveWire component. Okay, so in each page that includes LiveWire component, but in our project, in the welcome, we don't have a live wire component, so for that it's not uh, working this wire navigate. So we need to have a live wire component or we can add them manually. So if you want more control over this behavior, you can manually include the assets on page using the following blade directives. And if we choose that, we can copy this and also in the welcome blade and inside the head, I'm going to add after the styles, the live wire styles, and also the live wire scripts. So copy that. And let's scroll down at the end. I'm going to add the live wire scripts. If I save this and go back to home page, refresh, just in case. Now, if I click login, yeah, we have immediately navigate the login page. So now the wire navigate is working and also the register the same thing. So we have live wire in our project and we don't have a live wire component. But if we don't want to add them, so the live wire scripts and also the live wire styles, so remove them and we don't add it manually, what we can do is to create a live wire component and paste that live wire component in the welcome blade and it's going to work and that's what we're going to do in the next video that's it all about uh, this video now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much friends